台湾携手共好，世界友爱和解。莫奇，加油！ Carrying messages of hope, these two large heart-shaped lanterns lift off with hundreds of smaller ones close behind. People gaze in awe at the night sky as they float away. These sky lanterns are specially made for this year's Pingxi Sky Lantern Festival, which comes just ahead of Valentine's Day. Many friends, families, and lovers have come to send up their own wishes. The eye-catching scenes from this festival have drawn visitors from around the world to explore Taiwan's traditional culture. It's made Pingxi a major tourist spot in northern Taiwan. But during the 19th century, the area was lawless and unstable. Back then, sky lanterns were used to signal to residents that it was safe to return home. As the area developed, the paper lanterns began being used to carry people's hopes and desires to the gods. I'm from Israel. We love Taiwan. It was a wonderful celebration, and our wishes is peace, help, and happiness to the whole world. Thank you, Shishini. From India, and today my wish is just want to see the lantern, and I wish everyone to be happy this year. Yeah, I congratulate all uh, who have the opportunity to see this in the real time. But while the sight of so many glowing objects floating into the sky is indeed beautiful, the lanterns eventually come back down to earth, impacting Pingxi's natural scenery. This has brought the event under fire from environmental groups over the years. The day after the Pingxi Sky Lantern Festival, fallen lanterns are often seen in these woods. Cleaning up lanterns has become a popular activity, balancing cultural preservation and environmental protection. Where the lanterns fall depends on the direction of the wind that night. To cover all that ground, several teams led by local cleanup group Outdoors Fun spread out across the surrounding area. 因为天灯节其实每一梯次一个晚上，可能就是好几百盏的天灯就释放出去。那呃，我们针对这个情况，就是希望能够让环境赶快恢复干净，所以我们就会特别在天灯节的隔天一大早，我们就会邀请就是有兴趣的朋友们、喜欢爬山的朋友们，就大家一起参加这个进山的活动，就是赶快针对昨晚大量释放的天灯，赶快做一些回收。Pingxi already has a system in place that pays locals to recycle the lanterns. But this activity could present another opportunity for tourism in the area. As they walk around picking up the debris, participants can also enjoy the area's natural beauty. The vibrant culture around the Sky Lantern Festival is hard to let go of, even for many environmentalists. And though dealing with the thousands of fallen lanterns can be a headache, more and more people are joining the effort to minimize their damage to the nearby landscape. By doing so, participants are helping ensure this activity can continue for years to come. Damon Lin, Leon Lian, and Yu Jinghuang for Taiwan Plus.